So now it's time for me to introduce our next guest. Uh, uh, please give a warm welcome to Manuel Shapiro, Director of the European Commission Representation in Barcelona. Manuel Shapiro is currently Director of the European Commission Representation in Barcelona. He joined the European Commission back in March 2003 as a member of a task force of the future of the Union, placed under the authority of the President. In 2008, he was appointed Deputy Head of Unit of Institutional Issues and Better Regulation in uh, the European Commission Secretary uh, General. Uh, he, he was the leading, in the leading teams responsible for uh, European Citizens Initiative, EU decentralized agencies, EU treaties and implementations, among others. So, thank you very much for being here. Thank you, and thank you for inviting me to this, at least for me, quite emotional event to have here in Barcelona, um, part and parcel of a launch of this important kick or EIT on uh, culture and creativity. I'm delighted to be with all of you today. Let me warmly congratulate uh, the EIT, Daria, Bernd, Eurocat, also for today's event as part of the European Culture and Cult uh, Creativity Days. I would also like to welcome those of you who are coming from the other five co-location centers to Barcelona. Uh, I do believe that co-location centers are one of the greatest assets of the EITs, and the fact that you can cooperate amongst yourselves as regional centers, share and consolidate uh, best practices, reach economies of scales, and multiplier of leverage effect for both geographical uh, scope, i.e. at EU level, and also as far as PPPs are concerned, I think are, is an example. Congratulations, finally, on the launch of what you described before, Bernd, as the next uh, renaissance, um, as this cross-disciplinary uh, approach, um, blending contribution from uh, science, academia, art, technologies, literature, and that I see, but we can discuss that later, as a real foresight catalyst uh, to invent and create human-centric futures. In that framework, it seems particularly fitted to focus today on digital culture and digital humanism, which is what we do from the European Commission, as you might know, and I will not dwell on this, I, I promise. If you allow me, I would, however, like to zoom out to take a step back as to the need and importance of this particular EIT that you hinted to before uh, and the work that you are kick-starting. So to go back to basically the intervention that you had just before of Daria and Bernd mainly, uh, but providing you with a European Commission perspective. As former Commissioner Gabriel, that you just mentioned, stated in uh, the, this EIT Monshoot, uh, Moonshot event uh, in Brussels, the creation of EIT culture and creativity stems from a consensus, a consensus amongst member states European Parliament, European Commission, and other key stakeholders that the cultural and creative sectors and industries are key to the EU. And also that we need an EIT for this. That is, and it's originally, as you know, we have, as, in, as very often in many areas, different already existing instruments. So the question might be, why do we need an EIT on top of what we have. I could mention Horizon Europe, the cluster two especially of Horizon Europe. I could mention the uh, Creative Europe, of course, uh, program. I could mention the um, even next generation uh, resilience and recovery uh, facility that has uh, allocated money for creative and cultural industry. But our shared view is that this is too important a sector not to have an EIT. I will come back to that. With uh, you know the um, creative sector and industries are, uh, have a turnover estimated around uh, 643 billion euros, representing 4.4% of EU GDP and employing around or more, some would say, than 7.6 million people. This is where this particular EIT plays a very specific part. As I was mentioning a few months ago, I think it was to Joanne 
uh, Wash. Uh, my experience of EITs uh, from Brussels this time, but also since I have arrived in Barcelona with some of them in Barcelona, is one of the most positive I have had in the last uh, 20 years of my commission tenure. Uh, thanks to the contribution of other EITs, we managed to, uh, so I would say your predecessors, but I would not say your predecessors because each EIT is different. Uh, but we managed to literally mobilize the entire ecosystems and value chain. Here, I'm not to mention it, I'm referring to you know, Energy and the European Battery Alliance that we launched thanks to them at political level. We managed to create and accompany startups and scale-ups, and I see this as an important also ambit for your EIT. Uh, in Europe, which up until now was not particularly our forte, if we look on the other side of the Atlantic. Uh, we manage and are managing to overcome the innovation valley of death, to leverage private investment, to create new generations of entrepreneur and groundbreaking ideas in responses or in response to the challenges and the changes of our time, which I understand is exactly the spirit in which this EIT is created in relation to the social, green, and digital transition. And we bring together, like is done today, businesses, research centers, higher education, public authorities, um, to spur innovation and competitiveness. So even if these are early days, and I know it's no means fit to put all this up from scratch, so congratulations on everything you're doing and all the efforts that are going collectively into this. I see that the IT culture and creativity is already particularly active with a holistic approach, including such areas as architecture, public space, and building renovations, working on global audiovisual markets, and rethinking value chains, which is uh, exactly what I mentioned before, also the products and the service designs to incorporate sustainability criteria, not only environmental, even if it's primarily important, sustainability, but also social and economic. Working on cultural heritage, heritage inspire other creative sectors, creating, as I have seen, an investment club. I think you, you mentioned 200 investors just before, uh, attracting and retaining talents and investment, leveraging innovation, entrepreneurship, focusing on education and lifelong learning, and skill shortages, which as you know, we're in the midst of a European year of skills, and we have a vested interest and shared one in this. So sizing the opportunities of a social green and digital transformation from the perspective of those particular industries, which are not only industries, and that's, I think, the beauty also of the concept. I will not be exhaustive. I am uh, finishing. Um, I am sure you will work, because I heard you just before in synergies with the other kicks. Um, you, as you said, you cannot, uh, both of you actually, we cannot, you cannot and we cannot in the European Commission work in silos. Um, also with a deep tech talent initiative, with a new European Bauhaus. I could give you a long list, but you know it better than I do. You will find us, the European Commission, and the South, and for the Southwest Collocation Center in particular, our representation in Barcelona at your side, and also helping uh, with both interface and support, also to help push the coherence and impact of what you're doing. And to this end, we will continue working with you, with the national, with the regional, and with the local authorities who are here present today. I'll conclude precisely on this, on this trans or interregional dimension. From the Barcelona representation of the Commission, we're providing support in the development, for instance, of in innovation valleys. Uh, as you know, this is an area where we can successfully blend regional policy, state-of-the-art innovation, and smart specialization. We see an active role also for the EIT in this. Uh, with a thriving cultural and creative sector here in Catalonia, be it uh, for music, books, audiovisual architecture, uh, fashion, uh, design, gaming, you name it. Uh, I know for a fact you're working closely from here also with Catalonian cluster, audiovisual cluster, the hub, uh, 
uh, the Catalonia Media City and uh, many others. We will be in support, as I said, because we do think that the best way to perform uh, is to set up and uh, expand the uh, network or web of regional, local uh, government, businesses, universities, research centers, ecosystems, investors, and citizens. So I could not agree more with uh, what Dario said about the power of kick. Uh, culture and creativity can be uh, and will be, if they're not already, at the core of innovation and Europe's strength. Culture creators are innovators, as you mentioned there. They are part and parcels, I would even add, of our European resilience and strategic autonomy. So what we need now is to deliver. Let's get to work to better unlock the potential of cultural and uh, creative industries. Eleonora from my team, whom some of you may have met, will follow, follow the entire conference and report back and will continue to liaise very closely with you. Thank you for your attention.